Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a quick 10 to 15 minutes morning vinyasa flow. So perfect, back to school, back to work. Wake up 10 minutes earlier or 15 minutes earlier and do this beautiful, delicious, stretchy flow. We're going to start in Uttita Balasana or Child's Pose. So knees wide open, toes touching. And bring the forehead or the chest closer to the mat. Just really catching up here with your breath, connecting. One more breath. Releasing any tension here in your shoulders. So you're coming back up into Vajrasana on your knees. You can tuck the toes under if you want. Okay. Your belly decontracted, so no stress here. Arms up, inhaling. Exhaling, opening up to my right side, and letting my right hand go down to my foot, left hand to the knee. Inhale up. Exhale, left side, same thing. Inhale up. And exhale. In. And in, out. Up, in. Don't worry if I'm slower or quicker than you. Just take your time here to breathe. And connect your movements with your breath. Out. One more, inhale up. And exhale, down. Placing my two hands in front of me, finding my tabletop posture, untucking the toes and bringing my right leg up, making circles with my right foot. Placing my right foot to my right side, so in one line with my left knee, I'm gonna inhale here and exhale lower, and finding that good stretch in my right leg. Go as low as you can with your head to the ground. And breathe. Don't forget to flex your toes or point them. Don't just leave them here. You're going to try to wake up. So it's always good to have some extra movement. Okay, rounding the spine. Inhale and coming back up. Bring my right leg up. And then next to my left leg, so on the left side of my leg, on the toes, pushing my heel down, right arm up. Gaze up. Three, two. Placing my two hands on the ground, knees together. Inhaling, lowering the chest, opening up, gazing up, and exhaling, rounding the spine. Inhale up. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Feels good. And exhale. Okay. Extending my left leg up. Inhale. Bring my left foot to my left side. Same thing here. Try to keep it in one line with your knee. I'm going to inhale here and exhale when I'm lowering. Forehead to the ground. Very good. Four. Already feeling this, the tension in my leg. Three. Two. Inhaling, crawling up. Left, lift, leg, lift your left leg up. Toes on the right side. Same thing. Pushing my heel down. Left arm up. Above your head or to the, the ceiling. Three, two, releasing, coming back on your toes. Inhale, extend your legs, lower the hips, try to float. Exhale, down dog. And do more. Step your legs open, fingers wide open. 
hips high, head to, to toes. So I keep on pushing. Okay, extending my right leg up, inhale. Placing my right foot in between my hands, lowering on my left knee. Inhaling, bring my arms up. Grabbing my right wrist with my left hand. I'm going to inhale and when I'm exhaling, I'm going to lower and slightly pushing my knee to my right side. So opening up the hip and here pulling my wrist to the left side. So opening up, feeling that stretch in my right side. Three. Two. One, releasing, placing my two hands on the ground and turning my right toes to the right corner of the mat. Extending my left leg, inhaling here, exhaling, stepping into a malasana or a squat. Opening the hips, pushing my knees away. It's an active squat. Use a block, a cushion, whatever you need. Okay, two hands on the ground. Turning my, turning my right toes again in front, so facing the front of the mat. Left leg back, so same posture. Instead of staying here in Ashta Chandrasana, we're going to lower into Adha Kapatasana, so knee in between your hands. Use a block underneath you or bolster. We're going to stay here for three. Two, the body is adapting. One, who wants can follow and lower. And extending my arms. And lowering the head towards the ground. Feeling a deep stretch in my right thigh. Extending your arms in front of you, inhaling and exhaling, pushing yourself back up. You can stay here and go, in, and go for that back bend, so bring your arms over your head to your left leg, so to the back, or you can go for your mermaid pose. So I'm going to try to bring my foot in the, on the inside of my arm. Use a strap if you need one, or you stay in the first variation. Four, three, this one is also good, this posture, two, releasing two hands on the ground, left toes on the ground, inhale and exhale, bring your right leg up, very good. You can finish your vinyasa here on one leg or two. Okay, same thing, right toes on the ground, left leg up, inhale. Left foot in between my hands on my right knee. Exhale. Arms up, inhale. Grab your left wrist, same thing, exhale. Lower with your hip, left knee to your left side and pull to your right side. Four. Try to stay. Keeping your balance, breathe, two, releasing, one. Two hands on the ground, left toes facing the left corner of my mat. Preparing myself for Malasana. Pushing away, three, two, one. Same thing, turning my left toes facing the front edge of the ground, of the, of the mat, bring my right leg back. Inhaling, preparing myself, Ardha Kapotasana, hands on the ground, up, four, three, two, folding, extending my arms.
four, three, two. Extending your arms in front of you, I'm gonna inhale. Exhale, push yourself back up. Or you can form your Kali Mudra here, so index fingers together and pushing your arms to your back, opening the chest. Or you can go for your mermaid pose or stay here, this posture, if you're working on, on your mermaid pose. It's up to you. Gaze forward or gaze up. Four. Three. Two. Releasing. One. Two hands on the ground, on my right toes. Inhaling, exhaling, pushing that left leg up. Finishing my vinyasa. Urzamuk and child's pose. Exhale. Catch up with your breath here. You'll notice how your, breath, your rhythm and your breath is changing in each posture, in each flow. So try to observe that. Okay, so we're going home. Vajrasana on my toes. Bring my right hand, I'm going to turn around. Right hand on my left ear. Letting my right hand rest on my ear. Okay, same thing, other side. Just feeling that stretch. Okay, fingers like this, crossing your fingers, and placing your palms in your, on the back of your head. You can lower your hips here if you want. Inhaling, opening the chest, exhaling, rounding the spine, elbows and head touching. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale up. Breathe here, three breaths. Really good. Release your hands from your head. So you're placing my hands on my hip sides. And we're ready to go. I thank you for being here. This was our short morning vinyasa flow. I'll see you very soon on the mat and have a great day. See you. Ciao, ciao.